Hi, I'm Shiv Ghani. Thanks for checking out the Raised Line interview series in which me and my co-hosts, Dr. Rishi Desai and registered nurse Jana Emil, explore how to strengthen our healthcare system with some amazing leaders in medicine, technology, education, and government. And they have some great advice for people starting careers in healthcare as well. I hope you will watch these highlights and then go listen to the full podcast interview wherever you get your podcasts. Hi, I'm Shiv Guglani, and today on Raise Line, I'm really happy to be joined by Dr. Daniel Kraft, who probably wears more hats than any of our previous guests on Raise Line. For starters, he's the chair of medicine at Singularity University and founder and chairperson of Exponential Medicine, a cross-disciplinary program which explores how rapidly advancing technologies can shape the future of healthcare. Of particular significance in this year of the pandemic, he is chair of the XPRIZE Pandemic Alliance Task Force, which is seeking solutions to address COVID-19 and improve our ability to predict, prevent, and respond to future pandemics. Dr. Kraft is a Harvard and Stanford-trained specialist in hematology oncology and adult bone marrow transplantation, and an advisor to several leading biomedical and digital health startups. He also serves as a flight surgeon practicing aerospace medicine in the California and Massachusetts Air National Guard with F-15 and F-16 fighter squadrons. I, I think for our audience, which is primarily current and future healthcare professionals, I think they would love to hear in your own word, words, what got you interested in medicine and then specifically hematology oncology? I was lucky to grow up in the DC area and uh, I always sort of liked science in general. Uh, I spent a summer high school internship at the NIH and had to do a science fair project. Eventually, my science fair project ended up you know, winning all the science fairs because I came up with a way to cure allergies uh, with a monoclonal antibody. And eventually that um, eventually got adopted into a drug called Zolaire by Genentech, though I didn't know anything about IP or, or biotech back then. But it was a fun entree into the idea that you could come up with sort of a science um, element and have that potentially impact human health. And then I really sort of solidified getting into medicine when I went to Brown and I was a we had a student run Brown emergency medicine service. So I got to be a crew chief and run around with code three sirens, mostly twisted ankles on drunk students, honestly, but it was a good experience there. And so I like the combination of, of both the research side and the, and the clinical side. And, and, uh, and that led me on to medical school at Stanford and beyond. What advice would you give to current uh, medical nursing and other health professional students about meeting the challenges of COVID-19 and beyond? My advice for folks would be to keep your, uh, minds open, stay cross-connected with other folks. If you're in a medical school, it's got engineering and business and law, cross-connect. Cross um, you know, keep an eye on what's happening in AI and 3D printing and nanotech and synthetic biology and all these elements that are accelerating. Quantum computing may change healthcare dramatically. So if you, get, if you kind of take that mindset like Wayne Gretzky, skate to where the puck is going to be. Don't just think about medical school and medicine as static in 2020, which used to be the future. Think about where we'll be in 2022, 2025. Bill Gates says that famous quote, we tend to overestimate what will happen in a year and underestimate what will happen in a decade. I think the next decade will make the last 10 years look slow. Thanks for watching this preview of Raise the Line. To hear the full interview, check out all of our podcasts and subscribe to the series. Please go to osmosis.org forward slash Raise the Line podcast or listen wherever you get your podcasts.